So hi guys, this is Verdi Channel and today I'm going to do my reaction to the movie Casablanca from 1943. Uh, I'm really excited to get into this. This was recommended uh, because I did my reaction to The Wizard of Oz and people were telling me if, you, if I wanted to watch another great black and white movie, Casablanca was one of them and also The Twelve Angry Men, but I've seen already that movie and it's one of my favorite movie, Twelve Angry Men. So I won't be doing a reaction to that movie, but I've never seen Casablanca, uh, so I'm really excited. Uh, as always on Patreon, we have the full uh, unedited reaction and we're just gonna get right into this. So as always, can I come and subscribe and let's go. Warner Bros. Picture. Casablanca. And I'm not very sure where Casablanca is. I really don't know. Oh, a Marseillaise. You know, even though I speak French, but I'm from Canada, like the the Marseillaise is is a good uh, many eyes in imprisoned a good Europe song turned hopefully or desperately toward the freedom of the Americas. Not everybody could get to Lisbon directly, and so a tortuous roundabout refugee trail sprang up Paris to Marseille, the Mediterranean to Oran. That's a very long journey. Train or auto or rim of Africa to Casablanca in French. Okay, so it's in French Morocco. Through money or influence or luck, I'd obtain exit visas and scurry to Lisbon and from Lisbon to the New World. But the others in Casablanca, and wait, wait, and wait. Oh, okay, so people can stay a very long time in Casablanca. Murder and possible accomplices headed for Casablanca. Round up all suspicious characters and search them for stolen documents. Get out of the way or you're gonna get it. In that case, we'd have to ask you to come along. Wait, it's possible that, uh, yes, here we are. These papers expired three weeks ago. You have to come along. Halt! So they're like arresting everybody who like has a white hat. Beautiful young girl from Monsieur Reno, the prefect of police. Not at all. Au revoir, Monsieur. Au revoir, Madame. Au revoir. <laughs> Amusing little fellow. <laughs> Waiter. Very good to see you again, Major Stasser. Thank you. The importance of the case, my men are rounding up twice the usual number of suspects. No, already who the murderer is. But is he in custody? Oh, there's no hurry. Tonight he'll be at Briggs. Everybody come. I've already heard about him. You know, also about Mr. Rick himself. So it's a, a cafe. Cafe American. An American coffee. Mr. Fishing Smack, San Diego. He leaves at one tomorrow night. Here from the end of La Medina. Third boom. Bring the 15,000 francs in cash. Remember, in cash. What are young, young, you be silent? Oh, Madame Doyle. Yes, Your Professor. Feel gratitude, Noir. Thank you, Madame. Thank you, Monsieur. We have something to look forward. And his father is the bellboy. Good. Madame. Monsieur. Monsieur. So that's Rick. Excuse me. 
You're very much mistaken. Uh, excuse me, please. Hello, Hello Rory. Your cash is good at the bar. How do you know who I am? I do. You're lucky the bar's open to you. This is outrageous. I shall report it to the angry. Now, with the Deutsche Bank, one would think you've been doing this all your life. Well, what makes you think I haven't? Oh, n nothing. Yeah, but when you first came to Casablanca, I thought... You thought what? What right do I have to think? <laughs> because you despise me, you are the only one I trust. Will you keep these for me, please? Oh, perhaps an hour, perhaps a little longer. I don't want them here overnight. Mm, uh, don't be afraid of that. Please keep them. Thank you. I knew I could okay. trust you. I have a bad feeling about him keeping the papers. For sure. Right here. Yes, Monsieur. I hope you're more impressed with me now. If you'll forgive me, I'll share my good luck with your roulette wheel. Just a moment. Yeah, I heard a rumor those two German couriers were carrying letters of transit. Oh, <laughs> I've heard that rumor too, poor devils. Yes, you're right, Ugardi. I am a little more impressed with you. Is he the one that killed the two Germans? Whoa. Just how lucky. Hello, then. And once again... Oh, Ferrari. How's business at the Blue Parrot? Ferrari? Because you won, I love you. Oh, shut up. All right, all right. For you, I should. Because you won, I love you. Oh, oh. Oh, Monsieur Rick. Monsieur Rick. From German. Boom, 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 boom. Davis check. Is that right? No, I think now I shall pay a call on Ivan. Maybe get on the rebound. Huh? It comes to women, you're a true Democrat. Et moi, je vous dis que l'attitude de l'Italie est immonde. Qu'est-ce que vous auriez fait sans l'armée allemande? Hey, I do find it funny when they speak French because I can understand it, so kind of cool. You ran off for the Senate? That's why. I like to think that you killed a man. It's the romantic combination of all three. And what in heaven's name brought you to Casablanca? My help. I came to Casablanca for the waters. The waters? What waters? We're in the desert. Frank to witness a demonstration of your efficiency. Perhaps not. Here you are. Shall not happen again. That's all right. Oh, you got something on your mind. Why don't you spill it? How observant you are. As a matter of fact, I wanted to give you a word of advice. Yeah? Can't. The Nazis have been chasing him all over Europe. This is the end of the chase. 20,000 francs says it isn't. Is that a serious offer? I just paid out 20. I'd like to get it back. Make it 10. I'm only a poor, corrupt official. Okay. Poor, corrupt official. We'll take one. I think not. I've seen the lady. And if he did not leave her in Marseille or in Iran, he certainly won't leave her in Casablanca. Well, maybe he's not quite as romantic as you are. It doesn't matter. There is no exit visa for him. In 1935, you ran guns to Ethiopia. In 1936, you fought in Spain on the loyalist side. You got well paid for it on both occasions. The winning side would have paid you much better. My dear Ricky, you overestimate the influence of the Gestapo. I don't interfere with them. They don't interfere with me. In Casablanca, I am master of my fate. I am Major Captain... Major Strasser is here, sir. Uh, you were saying... Excuse me. Like, they're gonna for sure arrest the guy that came in and gave the paper to Rick. Very interesting club. Well, especially so tonight, Major. In a few minutes, you'll see the arrest of the man who murdered your couriers. I expected no less, Captain. Monsieur Ugarty. Mm. La partie continue. Yeah, I was right. Do something, you must help me! Excellent. Well, he's not leaving Casablanca, that's for sure. I stick my neck out for nobody. I'm sorry there was a disturbance, folks, but it's all right. Just sit down and have a good time. Enjoy yourselves, all right, Sam? Okay. That was quite quick and efficient, that's for sure. Major, that I wouldn't advise you to try to invade. Who do you think will win the war? Slightest idea. Rick is completely neutral about everything, and that takes in the field of women. We are not always so carefully neutral. We have a complete dossier on you. Victor Laszlo published the foulest lies in the Prague newspapers until the very day we marched in, and even after that, he continued to print scandal sheets in a cellar. Good evening, Mr. Blaine. You see, Major, you have nothing to worry about, Rick. Perhaps. Yes, Monsieur. I reserve the table. Victor Laszlo. Yes, Monsieur Larry. This way. So that's Victor. I'm trying to remember every name of people. Two coin throws, please. Tell Monsieur. I saw no one of Ugarte's description. I feel somehow we shouldn't stay here. You would walk out so soon. It would only call attention. Perhaps Ugarte is in some other part of the cafe. But that is your decision? I'm sorry, dear. Monsieur Laszlo, is it not? Yes. I am Captain Renault, Prefect of Police. Yes, what is it you want? Tell her to welcome you to Casablanca and to wish you a pleasant stay. It isn't often we have so distinguished a visit. It on the bill, I tear up the bill. It is very convenient. Captain, 
The boy who's playing the piano. Somewhere I've seen him. Sam? Yes. He came from Paris with Rick. Rick? Who's he? Mademoiselle, you're in Rick. And Rick is... Uh, the kind of man that... Well, if I were a woman and I were not around, I should be in love with Rick. But what a fool I am talking to a beautiful woman about another man. Uh, excuse me. Ah, Major. I present Major Heinrich Strasser. How do you do? This is a pleasure I have long looked for. I'm sure you'll excuse me if I'm not gracious. You see, Major Strasser, I'm a Czechoslovakian. You were a Czechoslovak. Now you are a subject of the German Reich. With Mademoiselle. Captain Renault, I'm under your authority. Is it your order that we come to your office? Uh, let us say it is my request. Uh, that is a much more pleasant word. Mademoiselle? Mademoiselle. A very clever tactical retreat, Major. This time they really mean to stop me. Victor, I'm afraid for you. We've been in difficult places before, haven't we? If we're on base, we'll take a so they want to arrest Victor, but I'm not sure why, because you say he's Czech Czechoslovenian, which I guess now is under German, uh, uh, I would say like the German have conquered Czechoslovakia, Czech Czechoslovakia, well, I'm not sure that's the country. He was arrested here tonight, I see. but we who are still free will do all we can, underground like everywhere else. The Karen if you will come, uh, <laughs> So he was in a concentration camp and I guess he escaped. So now they're after him. That's probably why they want to arrest him. Two champagne cocktails. Hello, Sam. Hello, myself. I never expect to see you again. Been a long time. Yes, ma'am. A lot of water under the bridge. Some of the old. Yes, ma'am. He's got a girl up to the blue parrot. Goes up there all the time. You used to be a much better life. Leave him alone, Miss Elsa. You bad luck to him. Play it once, Sam. For all time's sake. I don't know what you mean, Miss Elsa. Play as time goes by. Oh, I can't remember it, Miss Elsa. I'm a little rusty on it. I'll hum it for you. Da -da 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 -da. Things of time goes by. And when to love you'll say I love you, you can rely. It's a beautiful song. No matter what the brain time goes. Sam, I thought I told you never to play. So clearly they they all know each other. In a way that made me extremely jealous. I wasn't sure you were the same. Let's see the last time we met. It was La Bella Roar. How nice you remembered. an easy day to forget. I remember every detail. The Germans wore gray, you wore blue. Yes, I'll put that dress away. When the Germans march out, I'll wear it again. Thank you for that, mademoiselle. Else, I don't wish to be the one to say it, but it's late. So it is. And we have a curfew here in Casablanca. It would never do for the oh. chief of drinking after hours and have to find himself. I hope he knows they are welcome. Not at all. We have a curfew. Is it like everybody or just certain people? Both. Yeah. Boss, aren't you going to bed? Not right now. Ain't you planning on going to bed in the near future? No. You ever going to bed? No. Well, I ain't sleep either. Ain't nothing but trouble for you here. Coming back, I know she's coming. We'll take the car and drive all night. We'll get drunk. We'll go fishing and stay away until she's gone. Shut up and go home, will you? No, sir. I'm staying right here. So, he's like really emotional about Ilsa. Who are you really and what were you before? What did you do and what did you think, huh? We said no questions. for your thoughts. In America, they'd bring only a penny. I guess that's about all they're worth. I'm willing to be overcharged. Tell me. Why there is no other man in my life? Huh? That's easy. There was. He's dead. I'm sorry for asking. I forgot we said no questions.
Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. They'll be in Paris. Richard, they'll find out your record. It won't be safe for you here. On a blacklist already. <laughs> a roll of honor. Fall in love. Yeah, it's pretty bad timing. Where were you, say, ten years ago? Ten years ago? Yes, I was having a brace put on my teeth. Where were you? Looking for a job. Damn. Cannon fire. Or is it my heart? Oh, I guess they, they do have seventy seven, but judging by the sound, only about an age gap. Oh, I'm getting closer every minute. Here, here, drink up. We'll never finish the other three. The Germans will be here pretty soon now, and they'll come looking for you. And don't forget there's a price on you. I left a note in my apartment. They'll know where to find me. I know very little about you. Just the fact that you had your teeth straightened. Be serious, darling. You are in danger. You must leave Paris. No, 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 no. We must leave. Now, the train from Marseille leaves at 5 o'clock. I'll pick you up at your hotel at 4.30. No. So, no, not at Why doesn't she go with him? That's the question. That's too far ahead to plan. Yes, I guess it is a little too far ahead. Well, let's see. Uh, what about the engineer? Why can't he marry us on the train? Oh, darling. Oh, why not? Captain on a ship can. It doesn't seem fair that... Hey, what's wrong, kid? so much and i hate this war so much it's a crazy world anything can happen if you shouldn't get away if something should keep us apart wherever they put you and wherever i'll be i want you to know kiss kiss me as if it were the last time it's gonna be the last time so why the hell doesn't she go with him Miss Richard, I can't find her. She checked out of the hotel, but this note came just after you left. Wait, 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 wait. Richard, I cannot go with you or ever see you again. You must not ask why. Just believe that I love you, so my darling and Lord bless you, Ilsa. Okay, so he doesn't even know why. That's the last call, Miss. Do you hear me? Come on, Miss Richard, let's get out of here. Come on, Come on. Like he must be so confused and like sad to not even know why she didn't come. Rick, I have to talk to you. I saved my first drink to have with you. No, Rick, not tonight. Especially tonight. Please. Why did you have to come to Casablanca? There are other places. I wouldn't have come if I'd known that you changed i can still hear it richard dear i'll go with you any place get on a train together and never stop don't i can understand how you feel uh, you understand how i feel it's about a girl who had just come to paris from her home in oslo at the house of some friends she met a man about whom she had heard her whole life a very great and courageous man he opened up for her a whole beautiful world full of knowledge and thoughts and ideals worshipped him feeling she supposed was love yes it's very pretty I heard a story once, as a matter of Mister, I met a man once when I was always beginning. I guess neither one of our stories is very funny. Who was it you left me for? Was it Laszlo, or were there others in between? Aren't you the kind that tell? Possibility that Laszlo will receive a visa? I'm afraid not. My regrets, monsieur. Well, perhaps I shall like it in Casablanca. And mademoiselle? You needn't be concerned about me. Is it all you wish to tell us? Don't be in such a hurry. You have all... In Oslo, in Belgrade, in Athens. Even Berlin. Yes, even in Berlin. If you will furnish me with their names and their exact whereabouts, you will have your visa in the morning. And the honor of having served the third round. I don't think it's going to rat out the names. For a year, it's honor enough for a lifetime. You will give us the names? If I didn't give them to you in a concentration camp, I had more persuasive methods at your disposal. I certainly won't give them to you now. And kill them. What if you murdered all of us? From every corner of Europe, hundreds, thousands would rise to take our places. Even Nazis can't kill that fast. Sir Laszlo, you have a reputation for eloquence, which I... Uh, by the way, monsieur, last night you evinced an interest in Signor Ugarte. I believe you have a message for him. Nothing important, but may I speak to him now? You would find the conversation a trifle one side. Signor Ugarte is dead. I'm making out the report now. We haven't quite decided whether he committed suicide or died trying to escape. Are you quite finished with us? For the time being. Good day. It's kind of crazy how they can just kill you and say something else of how you died. You will find him over there at the Blue Parrot. Thanks. Mm -hmm. 
Like we keep seeing those two person, the guy and the girl. Like it's the third time that I've seen them. Naturally, there'll be a few incidental expenses. That's the proposition I have, whoever. I'll tell him when he comes in. I think I'll put my cards on the table. I think you know where those letters are. Good company. Reno and Strasser probably think so too. That's why I came over here to give them a chance to ransack my place. Who will take me into confidence? You need a partner. Excuse me, I'll be getting back. Morning. Senor Ferrari's the fat gent at the table. You will not find a treasure like this in all Morocco. Only 700 francs. You're being cheated. It doesn't matter, thank you. Ah, the lady's a friend of Rick's. For friends of Rick's, we have a... Did I say 700 francs? You can have it for two. Sorry, I was in no condition to receive you when you... That's a small discount. Jeez. Last night I saw what has happened to you. The Rick I knew in Paris, I could tell him he'd understand. But the one who looked at me with such hatred. I'll be leaving Casablanca soon and we'll never see each other again. We knew very little about each other when we were in love in Paris. If we leave it that way, maybe we'll remember those days, not Casablanca. Did you run out on me because you couldn't take it, because you knew what it would be like hiding from the police, running away all the time? You can believe that if you want to. Well, I'm not running away anymore. I'm settled now. Above a saloon, it's true, but the walk up a flight, I'll be expecting you. All the same, someday you'll lie to Laszlo. You'll be there. No, Rick. No, you see, Victor Laszlo is my husband, and was, even when I knew you in Paris. Oh. When I had trouble getting out of Lille, why didn't you leave me there? And when I was sick in Marseille and held you up for two weeks and you were in danger every minute of the time, why didn't you leave me then? I meant to, but something always held me up. Your secret will be safe with me. Ferrari is waiting for us. Not more than 50 francs, though. I move to make one more suggestion, why I do not know, because it cannot possibly profit me. Have you heard about Signor Gatti and the letters of transit? Yes, something. Letters were not found on Ogatti when they arrested him. You know where they are? Not for sure, monsieur. I'll venture to guess that Ogatti left those letters with Monsieur Rick. One never knows what he'll do or why, but it is worth a chance. Thank you very much. Good day. Bye. Thank you for your coffee, senor. I shall miss that when we leave Casablanca. Gracious of you to share it. Good day, members. Monsieur? Good luck. I better be going. My chair. I beseech you. This is a dangerous place full of things for everything. Good luck. Goodbye, sir. Has been a pleasure. You pickpocket him very fast. He was like, oh, okay, no, I've got everything. Captain, are you entirely certain which side you're on? I have no conviction, if that's what you mean. I blow with the wind, and the prevailing wind happens to be from Vichy. And if it should change? Surely the right doesn't admit that possibility. Waiting for their chance, waiting perhaps for a leader. A leader? Like Laszlo? I have been thinking. It's too dangerous if you let him go. It may be too dangerous if you let him stay. I see what you mean. Pinch on the oh, they want to kill Laszlo. Laszlo? Uh, sweetness heart. What watch? Ten watts. Such much? You will get along beautifully in America. <laughs> How's the lady luck treating you? Oh, too bad. We'll find him over there. Oh, just a minute. Who told you to ask me that? Captain Reynold. Did. I thought so. Where's your husband? At the roulette table. Trying to win enough for our exit visas. Oh, of course, he's losing. How long have you been married? We come from Bulgaria. Well, things are very bad there, monsieur. The devil has the people by the throat. Jan and I, we, we did not want our children to grow up. So you decided to go to America? Yes, but we have not much money and... Expensive and difficult. It was much more than we thought to get here. And then Captain Renault sees us, and he is so kind. He wants to help us. Yes, I'll bet. He tells me he can give us an exit visa. But she did a bad thing to make certain of it. Could you forgive her? Nobody ever loved me that much. And he never knew. And the girl kept this bad thing locked in her heart. That would be all right, wouldn't it? You want my advice? Go back to Bulgaria. Oh, but if you knew what it means to us to leave Europe, to get to America. John should find out. He is such a boy. In many ways, I, I am so much older than he is. Yes, well, everybody in Casablanca had problems. Those may work, can't you? Excuse me. Les jeux sont faits, marquons les jeux. Les jeux sont faits, le 8 en plein. Allez, chaud, on paye en plein le 8. Do you wish to place another bet? No, no, I guess not. Tried 22 tonight. Rien ne va plus. 22, noir, pair et pas. Oh. Rien ne va plus, monsieur. Fini. Sure, this place is honest. But how the hell does it keep as going as to 22? As long. I, I've never played anything like that, so I don't know how it works. In the morning, we'll do everything business like We'll be there at 6. I'll be there at 10. I'm very happy for both of you. Still, it's very strange that you won. Well, 
Maybe not so strange. I'll see you in the morning. Thank you so much, Captain Rainer. Boss, you've done a beautiful thing. Why, well, you crazy Russian. It's a very kind thing. Sentimentalist. Yeah, why? Why do you interfere with my little romance? Down as a gesture to love. Well, I'll forgive you this time, but I'll be in tomorrow night with a breathtaking blonde. It'll make me very happy if she loses. In my office. Right. You must know it's very important I get off Casablanca. It's my privilege to be one of the leaders of a great movement. You know what I've been doing. You know what it means to the work, to the lives of thousands and thousands of people. I'm not interested in politics. The problems of the world are not in my department. I'm a saloon keeper. My friends in the underground tell me that you've quite a record. You ran guns to Ethiopia. You fought against the fascists in Spain. What of it? Isn't it? My answer would still be the same. There must be some reason why you won't let me have them. There is. I suggest that you ask your wife. I beg your pardon? I said, ask your wife. My wife? Yes. Play La Marseillaise. Play it. Like that's this. La Marseillaise against, which I guess is maybe like the German song or anthem. I'm not sure. That's like a big like uh, slap in the face to the Germans in the in the in the cafe. They're not gonna be happy. Good night, Mademoiselle. What happened with Rick? Later. Joe, after Major Stress's warning tonight, I'm frightened. Tell you the truth, I'm frightened too. Shall I remain here in our hotel room hiding, or shall I carry on the best I can? Whatever I'd say, you would carry on. But Rick, what did you find out? Apparently he has the letters, but no intention of selling them. I think if sentiment wouldn't persuade him, money would. Did he give any reason? He suggested I ask you. Ask me? Yes, he said, uh, ask your wife. I don't know why he said that. And our friend outside will think we've retired by now. I'll be going in a few minutes. Elsa, I... Yes? When I was in the concentration camp, were you lonely in Paris? So I... he wasn't there. She's gonna go see Rick. Oh, thank you, Eric. Sasha will be happy to hear it. I owe him money. <laughs> hey, you finish locking up, will you, Carl? Good night, Mr. Rick. How did you get in? That was my question. You want to feel sorry for yourself, don't you? There's so much at stake, all you can think of is your own feeling. One woman has hurt you and you take your revenge on the rest of the world. You're a coward and weakly. Dr. Laszlo will die in Casablanca. What up, die in Casablanca? It's a good spot for it. Now if you... All right, try to reason with you. What? Letters. Get them for me. I don't have to. I got them right here. Put them on the table. No. For the last time, put them on the table. <sighs> the day you left Paris, if you knew what I went, if you knew how much I loved, how much I still. So I'm gonna guess that she doesn't very much love her husband. She prefers Richard. I'm gonna guess. It wasn't long after we were married that Victor went back to Czechoslovakia. They needed him in Prague, but the Gestapo were waiting for him. Just a two-line item in the paper, Victor Leslo apprehended, sent to concentration camp. I was frantic. For months I tried to get word. He was dead, shot, trying to escape. And for those working with us... When did you first find out he was alive? Just before you and I were to leave Paris to get... A friend came and told me that Victor was alive, hiding him in a freight car in the outskirts of Paris. He was sick. He needed me. Oh, you'll help him now, Richard, won't you? You'll see that he gets out. Then he'll have his work, all that he's been living for. All except one. He won't have you. 
I can't fight it anymore. I ran away from you once. I can't do it again. All right. I will. Who's looking at you, kid? I wish I didn't love you. Close. I'm trying to call some of the others. Come inside. I will help you immediately. Thank you. Oh, damn, and he's gonna see that she's there. The police break up our meeting here. We escaped in the last month. Come up here a minute. Yes, I come. I want you to turn out the light in the rear entrance. It might attract the police. But Sasha always puts out the light. Tonight he forgot. Yes, I come. I will do it. Like a man who's trying to convince himself of something he doesn't believe in his heart. Each of us has a destiny, for good or for evil. I get the point. I wonder if you do. I wonder if you know that you're trying to escape from yourself and that you'll never succeed. You seem to know all about my destiny. I know a good deal more about you than you suspect. I know, for instance, that you're in love with a woman. It's perhaps a strange circumstance. We both should be in love with the same woman. First evening I came into this cafe, I knew there was something between you and Ilsa. I demand no explanation. I ask only one thing. You won't give me the letters of transit, but I want my wife to be safe. I ask you as a favor to use the letters to take her away from Casablanca. You love her that much? Can't you think of me only as a leader of a cause? I'm also a human being. Yes, I have the letters. I intend using them myself. I'm leaving Casablanca on tonight's plane, the last. I'm taking a friend with me, one you'll appreciate. What friend? Ilza Lund. That ought to put your mind to rest about my helping Laszlo escape. The Germans at last will be just a minor annoyance. There's still something about this business I don't quite understand. Miss Lund, she's very beautiful, yes. But you were never interested in any woman. She isn't just any woman. I see. I'll make the arrangements right now with Laszlo and the visitor's pen. Ricky, I'm gonna miss you. Apparently, you're the only one in Casablanca who has even less scruples than I. Thanks. Go ahead, Ricky. But I do have a feeling that it's not gonna go to plan. Like, it would be too good to be true that they arrest Laszlo and then Rick and Elsa just go to America. Like, that would be just too good. Well, by the way, my agreement with Sam has always been that he gets 25% of the profits. That still goes. 10%, but he's worth 25. Boss, they stay. Ricks wouldn't be Ricks without there. And don't forget you owe Ricks a hundred carton of American cigarettes. I should remember to pay it to myself. Is everything ready? I have the letters right here. Tell me, when we searched the place, where were they? Sam's piano. That's me right for not being musical. Oh, here they are. You better wait in my office. I do have a bad feeling. Is that the airport? Huh? This is Captain Renault speaking. There were two letters of transit for the Lisbon plane. There's to be no trouble about them. Hello? Hello? My car, quickly. Prepare my own. This is Major Stasia. Have a squad of police meet me at the airport at once. Dude, this is going so wrong. Hello? Hello? Radio Tower. Lisbon plane taking off in 10 minutes. East runway. Visibility one and one half miles. I can't fog. The fog approximately 500. Thank you. Nine chances out of ten, we'd both wind up at a concentration camp. Isn't that true, Louis? I'm afraid Major Strasser would insist. Saying this only to make me go. I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. What about us? You'll always have Paris. Didn't have, we we lost it until you came to Casablanca. We got it back last. I said I would never leave. And you never will. Damn, I'm getting like teary-eyed. Oh. Follow. What I've got to do, you can't be any part of. Ilza, I'm no good at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of three little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. Someday you'll understand that. <sighs> He's looking at you, kid. Oh, and he's coming, of course. All except one thing. There's something you should know before you leave. I'm going to anyway because it may make a difference to you later on. You said you knew about Ilza and me. You didn't know she was at my place last night when you were. came there for the letters of transit. Isn't that true, Ilza? She did her best to convince me that she was still in love with me. That was all over long ago. For your sake, she pretended it wasn't, and I let her pretend. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Fiery. God bless you. Gotta hurry, you'll miss that plane. Yeah. 
They better, they better hurry because the German guy is coming. Well, I was right. You are a sentimentalist. Stay where you are. I don't know what you're talking about. What you just did for Lesler. I know a little about women, my friend. She went and she knew you were lying. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. Either of us, especially for you. I'll have to arrest you, of course. Then as the plane goes, Louis. What was the meaning of that phone call? Victor Laszlo is on that plane. Why don't you stand here? Why don't you stop him? Ask Monsieur Rick. Hello. Put that phone down. Get me the radio tower. Put it down. <laughs> okay. Major Strasser has been shot. Not only a sentimentalist, but you've become a patriot. I believe it seemed like a good time to start. I think perhaps you're right. Why did he throw the bottle? It might be a good idea for you to disappear from Casablanca for a while. There's a free French garrison over at Brazzaville. I could be induced to arrange a passage. My letter of transit. Frank should pay our expenses. Alex, Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I, I didn't expect this. Like, I really thought that Rick was gonna go with Elsa to America. So at the end, I got really, like, teary-eyed from just the way that he talked and what he said was really touching, I think. Uh, at least for me because I was like a hundred percent sure that he was gonna go and he was gonna leave Laszlo like in Casablanca and also I, I kind of learned a lot of things because I didn't know that uh, I don't know if like the, this is based on true events like Casablanca being like unoccupied uh, France so it's like there's like it's not French but it's not like Germany or anything like that it's kind of like a neutral round which i i didn't know existed and also like the, you can see the relationship between the germans and the french of just especially when the german soldiers were singing and then laszlo came in and said play la marseillaise and then the french national anthem played which i it was a great moment and I'm also kind of surprised of how much French was in the movie. Like, I was not expecting that, so that was kind of cool to me to be able to understand uh, some parts. But I did find also the beginning a little bit slow, because I don't really, like, watch that much, like, romance uh, movie like that. But I really liked it, especially, like, after we have... Uh, the f after we have the flashback from Ilsa and Richard in Paris, like after that flashback, like it, it, to me, it really began to pick up like the the story of the movie. But I really enjoyed that. It was a very very great movie, and I do hope that you guys enjoyed. So as always, you can like and subscribe. Stay safe outside, and hope you have a good day.